is sleeping. Yes, we babies. So yeah, everyone, this is the Winter Soldier, as you can see the name. So I have my face mask, okay? Now this was a carnival mask, so I will show here is the forehead piece. So this went on your forehead, like so, carnival mask. Right here, there was a midsection in there. You can go uh, look up my... I forget what the hell the video was. I will recorrect myself. I'm very sorry for that. But you can see right here, this is a face mask, a carnival mask that you get in an art shop, a uh, craft store, any kind of shop that deals in arts and crafts. So this is just going to go around my face like so. I've covered up the front mouthpiece, so if I turn it inside here, you can see there is a slit right here for my mouth, and that actually has a mouth shape, and I've covered it up with some of the Peltex, like so. You can see that it's just a piece wrapping around the mouth, just to cover that. What I'm going to do, I have some spandex fabric, okay? So I have some spandex right here, there is even some glue on this that I don't even care, I'm going to use it, because you're not going to see that. So what we're going to do is take your spandex fabric, take your mask, take your spandex fabric and outstretch this around the mask. So this is going to give this a nice texture and tone, get that glue mark out of the way. Okay, so that's going to give this a nice texture and tone and it's going to make it look so nice for the Winter Soldier. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that is going to be wrapped around this face mask, so that all I have to do is just take it on and off. Going to be building up the nose piece, going to be doing the goggles. I actually have the nose piece right here from the mask itself. I might use this for something, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I originally did have it on this, but I just cut it off because I couldn't wrap the fabric around this mask without the nose breaking off, so I just broke it off. Yeah guys, you can use any kind of mask you want, uh, what kind of mask, toy masks, Spider-Man masks, cheap plastic masks are the best to kind of build on top of, yeah, so this is a mouthpiece, you can use a lot of other techniques, you can build this up from scratch, you can just make your own mouthpiece going around your face from cardboard, EVA foam, Paltex, Warbler, Really anything you get your hands on, you just shape all the pieces and put them on top of each other. So yeah guys, this is the Winter Soldier, and you'll see this when it's wrapped in the black fabric. Thanks guys. So hi everyone, I've just wrapped my mouthpiece in the black fabric, okay? So I just showed you this, I just wrapped the pieces, I just, you can see here around the edges, like so, okay? That just goes all the way around the edge and it'll start getting crinkled up so you have to get it right down to the middle point and then you know, right down to a point where it's all just bunched up then you cut a split in between all the bunched up bits and you just start to fold over you know your design you just start to fold over overlap the material on top of one another you can see i just have a split going up here that is where i you know i folded all of this round you'll get bits that's going to start to bunch up on you like here in the corner and stuff I have pieces here that are bunching up on me and I had to just fold those in and then cut a split up in the chin down here just to make sure so you know this is it so far okay you can see I just have a little point right here so I hold, come in closer you can see I have that little point right there that is the only like kind of bump or crease I have around the whole thing you know every every line here is straight all the things are just straight it's not until you get to this point where you'll just see that little point out the chin okay and that's the only real crease the crease that I have in this whole thing so yep I covered up the mouth shape you can't see that again and it also adds an emphasis of lines here in the middle like it's molded to it or something or this is part of the whole shape yeah guys this is my winter soldier starter base home oh what i'm gonna i don't know the words i don't care i'm bookie barnes oh.
Hi everyone, as we're back today with the Winter Soldier, so you can see here I have my Winter Soldier and I have the nose piece just glued onto it. Okay, so the nose piece is just glued on from the inside. Okay, and it just goes on like that. Okay, so these are the goggles. So I just cut this shape right there. Okay, I just cut this shape. This is like an eye mask. You have a process video uh, for eye masks. You can use cardboard, EVA foam to cut out your eye mask shape. All right, I use Peltex, and this is it here. So I folded it over in half, so you get draw one side of your design, cut it out, unfold it, and you will get both of the same size pieces. So that is how I got the symmetrical eye shape, like so. That's gonna go on like that, and then okay. So this is going to be for my Winter Soldier. I'm just going to build up here with some black pieces. I'll build up on the top here with some black pieces. I just really cut this out by random, by fluke. I didn't mean to. You can go for any goggle design you want, any eye shape you want. So if you were going to draw your design, your eyes could be pointed. Your eyes could be wider, bigger. You'll be using sunglass lenses. I'm going to be using the metal mesh. You can use metal mesh if you want for the eyes. Let's get right into it. I'm going to wrap... Uh, wrap this in the black fabric spray paint your pieces color them in tape basically anything you want to do paint them okay guys thanks for watching so hi everyone you can see i have my eyepiece here so i made my eyepiece and i did show you the frame all right i showed you the outer frame that i already cut so i've added on one piece here so this is an over piece going over it's, it's sort of like falcons sort of design if you look at any of the comic book designs of Marvel if you look at any Avengers concept art Falcon has this sort of like white eyebrow thing and then a yellow piece going in the middle of his face but Winter Soldiers is just all black so it's just this piece going over his eyes like an eyebrow and the middle piece coming down in between his nose and the same shape going over again you can do this with cardboard or EVA foam and then I have a piece going here at the back you can see right here and that just emphasizes everything. You can look at many Winter Soldier pictures. So, wait there, I'm actually, I went on Instagram and I found this guy who was making his Winter Soldier, or he was making a Black Panther and he put his Winter Soldier mask onto it. So, sorry, uh, here we are. And that is Urats underscore studios. And this is it right here. So you can see that is the design that I took. So that is Urats underscore studios. And that is on Instagram, but you can see that design is so cool and he just put those on his Black Panther, inspired me to make this. So that's gonna go on here like that. The Marvel Universe has ended. Long live battle. Yes, I am watching Comic Story and I just re-watching Battle World again because I watched Old Man Logan. If you really wanna get your comics in, watch Comic Story and uh, comic heads, okay, so comic heads, I will leave a link in the description below. They're so funny. They are so funny. Honest to God, guys, they're brilliant. But Winter Soldier. So I just suck that in there to keep it on my face for two seconds. No hands. And this is the way my eyepiece is going to go around my face. Okay. So this is going to go like that. I'm going to put in the mesh. So the mesh is going to go in the eyes right here. And that is this right uh, here this stuff and this is the oven mesh so this is for ovens or cookers and that gives me a nice clear vision out the eyepiece you can use fabric mesh so that's white mesh uh, you can use basically anything you can, you can see through that that would work this metal mesh is quite good it has that nice metallic uh, chain onto it it has all those little holes in it so you can see all right like here it's like a spider-man design I did my spider-man noir with it so that's just going to be for my eye lenses. You can use sunglass lenses. Mm, anything really. Okay guys. Plastic. You can use plastic packaging. So you know with clear vision plastic packaging. Anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. We will get straight into the Winter Soldier when we are done. Okay. You will see this mask when I just glue this together and put the wire mesh into it. Alright, this is how it sits on my face. I just want to give you a good look since I didn't do a process. I'm very sorry. So I have all the fabric and all the cuts and stuff. You can see there is a lot of cuts in the corners. Because this mask has a lot of straight lines and corners. Alright. So thank you so much. This is the Winter Soldier Mask Starter Version 1. And here we are.
Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. So, hi uh, everyone. This is my Winter Soldier mask so far. So I've only been working on maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. Okay? So, you can see here, I can fully see through everything. I just have to cover up underneath here. I might wear a black face mask, I don't know. But they're sort of like goggles, so if I take this off, I've actually put a black strap here and another here. That's actually so the face mask kind of pulls down on itself. If I cut those off, the, it, it's like a pair of goggles. It's really cool. I don't know if I actually might just cut the, the straps off and do it. This is the Winter Soldier mask so far. Okay, now as I said, I've used the metal mesh. So that is in behind here. This is the face mask. You can use any kind of mesh you want. Anything from old sportswear. Uh, anything from old like clothing inside some coats big thick coats now make sure they're old they're not new stuff don't be going and cut it up all new stuff but you know you'll get some netting it's like some uh, netting instead of uh let me show you shit come on so you'll get netting like in some sportswear and some like things so you can see here it has like all the dots in it and stuff all right that's th that's fabric that breathes basically you can see through it and stuff you can see me through it Alright, so yeah, you can get some of this, now I purchased this in a sports shop, a uh, sports supplier, and it's also stretchy as well, it kind of stretches, so you could, you know, do something like that with it. Alright, now this is just the mess that you can use, this is red, you can get white, whatever can you want, I got it in a sports shop, you can find it in old clothing. This is the Winter Soldier so far. I've put two bolts on the top of the head. Sorry for talking so much shit and crap, guys. It's really late at night and I'm looking to go to bed. And this is just what I've got so far on my Winter Soldier because people have been asking for it. I have an elasticated strap here at the back. Okay. And that just goes on my face. Oh, shit. Like so. So, hi, everyone. I'll just move this light, like, over that way. Oh. I was about that. So, hi everyone, this is me in my Winter Soldier suit so far. Okay, let's put that out like that. I have some latches here in the middle. Okay, this or some buckles. Alright, you can see here this just on buckles like so. And this is a waistcoat that I have cut. Okay, just like the Spider Man the War suit, I cut a waistcoat, an armless waistcoat but only it has a zip going up the middle. I have a strap going across here. I have my shoulder pieces from my skating pads slash rollerblading pads. Then I have a football shin guard or a soccer shin guard right here. Okay, and that's all wrapped in the black fabric. I used to have a Nike saying right here, or Nike if you're from America. And this is going to be for my arm. Now my arm, guys, is the biggest part of what I was trying to figure out. So. I came across some silver paper, wrapping paper, some birthday or Christmas wrapping paper. You can use this, it gives a nice shine, gives a nice texture or tone, you can see that right there. You can use tin foil, now this is just some cheap wrapping paper, All right, but I'm not going to use this, that is just something that kind of gives me an idea, and I use the Paltex, so this piece is for my shoulder right here, okay, so that's going to be my shoulder piece, I'm sorry about this big light right there okay so this is going to be my shoulder piece and that's going to go on and wrap just at the curve of my shoulder okay then if you remember previously I had the carnival mask that I turned into uh, I think it was what I turned the carnival mask into the I frame those piece well mostly it's for the winter soldier but yeah this is the curve oh I turned it into the Deadpool eye lenses that was it and then the bottom I have used so this eye ma this face mask has not went to waste I would always say look in your local art shops uh, craft shops for plastic masks all right but this is just the curve for the forehead so that went here for the face mask all right and I'm going to use this for my curve for the shoulder. Yeah, that's, it just came to me, I was like, what has a curve? What can I use that has a curve? Um, the forehead of the mask itself is a brilliant, brilliant curve. So I'm going to glue this to this piece right here like that. Then that goes on here, wraps around my arm, and this is gonna be toned in the gray fabric. All right, 
so that's going to give me my nice bend. I'll fill up in here with some grey also. Then I have my bicep piece, which is where? Okay, so my bicep piece is right here. And that's just going to wrap around my bicep, like so, or whatever bicep I think I have. And that's going to wrap around here like that. Okay, so I have my shoulder piece, I have my bicep piece, and then I'm going to make a gauntlet piece. Okay, guys? So shoulder piece, shoulder curve piece, and then your bicep piece. Then I'm going to move on to the gauntlets, and that is basically me building my uh, Winter Soldier arm. Now, it's not going to be the silver texture. You can get some silver spray paint. Mine is going to be like a gray with the magnetic tip. Uh, put onto it so this shiny magnetic tip is going to go on for all the lanes that he has across his arm to kind of give that nice shininess to it. And this is my Winter Soldier, guys. Thanks for watching. But so, hi everyone. I apologize about this lake. This is going to be very, very brief. Okay, it's going to be very, very quick. I have to go somewhere, but I quickly got into my Winter Soldier suit. Okay, so this is it so far. I have the arm right here. Okay, this is the arm so far, and this is the waistcoat so far. A lot of straps, a lot of buckles. I have the utility belt with some gas canisters and stuff right here. Okay, I also have some leather gloves that I'm wearing. And then I have the shoulder pieces that I've shown previously. I put two straps ah, going down here. Okay, sorry if you couldn't hear me. But this is it. I'm wearing a black sleeve, uh, my Sons of Anarchy black sleeve shirt that I wore with my Spider-Man Noir. Yeah, everyone. Just this is it so far. I'll hold the rifle for you. Put this mask down. Okay. I still need to add the star, okay, so the star still needs to be added on the arm right here along with a lot of detail into this arm, but you can see I have full mobility throughout this, you know, <laughs> I still have all functionality, but then when you rigid it up, you know, you make your poses, it looks sort of like the Winter Soldier, so thank you so much for watching everyone, we'll get straight into the full costume right now, and that is me, Winter Soldier State. Fuck your barns!